seeks first world title versus Lucas Mathis in U.S. debut. Kua Kairam stands apart from most professional boxers from Thailand. For one, Kairam stands about 5 foot 10, which is a fair bit taller than most of his fighting countrymen. And he competes in the welterweight division, which is more than 30 pounds heavier than, say, Sri Saket Sorungvai, the world champion from Thailand who reigns at super flyweight, 115 pounds. Kairam says he could even fight at middleweight, 160 pounds, if he so desired. Kairam, 38-0, 28 Kos, whose given name is Tiraisai the Morse Kratingham, is ranked number one at 147 pounds by the World Boxing Association and will take on Argentine slugger and former interim 140-pound champ Lucas Mathis, 38-4, 35 Kos, for the vacant WBA World Welterweight title Saturday night at the Forum in Inglewood, California The winner earns a shot at WBA super champion Keith Thurman. The fight will be televised on HBO Boxing After Dark, 10.30 p.m. ET. The co-main event pits Venezuelan star Hork Eleners. 43-3, 27 Kos, against Filipino Mercedo Gesta, 31-1-2, 17 Kos, in a 12-round defense of Linner's WBA and Ring Magazine lightweight titles. I'm very thankful that I'm fighting for a world title against Lucas Mathis, Kyram said during Thursday's final press conference. I'm looking forward to winning a world title and taking the belt back to Thailand. More former world heavyweight champ Tyson Fury to regain boxing license more, Spence Jr. stops Peterson in 8th round to retain welterweight title more, Floyd Mayweather Sr. pleads not guilty to assault charge this is Kyram's first fight in the United States, and also his first shot at a world title. As you might imagine, he has trouble finding comparably sized sparring partners in Thailand. He says he has to look to China the Philippines and Thai Americans to find sparring partners. Whatever style they bring for math ice, that's what they have to bring, Kyram said. Kyram describes his style as boxer and puncher, who counts the jab as perhaps his most important punch. He started out like most Thai boxers, in Muay Thai, a martial arts discipline that uses stand-up striking along with various clinching techniques. He converted full-time to boxing at 19 and is now 25. While he has not fought anywhere near the caliber of competition Mathis has, like the Argentine he has knocked out most of his opponents, 74%. But it took him nearly 9 rounds to take out a fighter making his professional debut early last year. Still, he's not too concerned about facing a heavy-handed co-artist like Mathis, who at 35 is 10 years older than Kyram. I'm relaxed, and I will do what I have to do," he said through a translator. I want to do this for my country and for all the Thai kids who never had the same opportunity as me. Mathis, coming off an impressive fifth-round knockout victory against Emmanuel Taylor last May, following a more than two-year layoff to heal a broken orbital bone from his knockout loss to Victor Postal in October 2015, has his own ideas for how the fight will play out. We prepared for this fight really well. We prepared in Argentina, and then finished in India, California, he said. We will walk away with a world title. We know that he manages his distance well and that he has a good jab, but we prepared for that. We learned a few things, but I assure the fans that they will once again see the machine this Saturday.